this is a flying car. I'm at a facility in Spain where this electric passenger drone is about to take off on a test flight in just a few minutes. We're getting a sneak peek at the technology. From electric cars to scooters, the world is looking for cleaner and more efficient modes of transportation. Most of these efforts are focused on how we move around on the ground. But what about the future of flying cars? Technically known as vertical takeoff and landing aircraft, or VTOL, companies around the world are racing to develop flying passenger drones. These aircraft could be big business. The urban air mobility market could be worth 9 trillion US dollars in 2050, skyrocketing from its tiny beginnings right now. While that is some way off, one of the companies hoping for a big slice of that growing pie is German contender Lilium. This is the fifth generation of Lilium's fully electric aircraft. The company has been carrying out test flights at the Atlas Flight Test Center here in the south of Spain as it looks to hone the technology and prove the safety of its vehicle. The current test vehicle is not what Lilium hopes to finally bring into production in 2023. The company says the final jet will have a cruise speed of 175 miles per hour and a range of about 155 miles. That's roughly the distance from London to Manchester. Matthias Mayner, a co-founder of Lilium, took me through the technology behind the jet and the company's vision of a premium user experience. You step inside the cabin, it feels very like high quality, you don't have that feeling that you might have today in a helicopter shuttle service where everything's loud and rattling and noisy. So it's really from that kind of business jet experience, but bringing that eventually to the, to the wider audience. While the technology appears to be progressing quickly, what exactly is the business potential for companies like Lilium? I caught up with Alexander Asali, Vice Chairman of Lilium. Potential for eVTOL is really to rethink how regions connect internally and with other regions. So. Today, if you want to move over regional distances, what are you doing? You're taking a long car journey, you're taking a train, or you're taking a short flight. The way to think about eVTOL is that it essentially takes some of those long car journeys and it says, wait, why spend two, three hours in a car when you can do it in, let's say, 45 minutes in an eVTOL? And from a business perspective now, what's the potential? How are you thinking about business models? We have to think about it in two ways. One is we've got certain kinds of customers like NetJets, for example, or Lux Aviation, who want to buy aircraft from us and then operate those aircraft within whatever model they use, like either fractional ownership or shuttle routes, right? There's also a ton of opportunity we're seeing, which we've announced in, in Europe, also in the US and Florida, which is to run our own routes with partners. Passenger carrying drones still face a number of challenges from the development of infrastructure, such as charging stations and landing pads, to addressing safety concerns from regulators. If the industry is to truly take off, there are still some big issues to address. The real challenge is really understanding what the technology is and how it's going to function in the field. We think the aerospace industry is awfully mature and has very strict standards for good reasons. But this is going to be um, you know, a technology that starts to test the edges of those regulations. It's not just Lilium vying to make flying cars a reality. A handful of companies across the world from Ehang in China to Joby Aviation in the US are hoping to fly ahead. We're in a great spot to kind of move forward towards what we call a conforming aircraft, a pre-production prototype. So that's going to happen. We're going to start assembling that in 2023. And then it's going to be about a year and a half of final test campaign where essentially we tick a bunch of boxes. And then 2025, the plan is we will get our type certificate and we will launch our commercial operation. So don't expect to see flying cars around your city just yet. But with every successful takeoff and landing by a prototype aircraft like this, the future gets just that little bit closer. This is gonna be a decade long process of, of development and, and growing the market. And so really we're looking at the middle of the decade when this becomes reality for you know people in, in a way that they can see it and feel it and participate in it. In terms of mass adoption, we're really looking out you know, past 2030 for the, the broad adoption. Sustainable Future. Brought to you by Patronus.